How do I reset WPS Office to its default settings? Hello everyone. Today, we are going to learn how to reset WPS Office to its default settings. This can be quite handy if you've made some changes that you're not happy with, or if you're experiencing issues and want to start afresh. Remember, this process will erase all the custom settings you've made in WPS Office and return it to the state it was in when you first installed it. What is WPS Office? Before we get started, let's quickly talk about what WPS Office is. WPS Office is an office suite for Microsoft Windows, macOS, Linux, iOS, and Android, developed by Zhuhai-based Chinese software developer Kingsoft. It provides users with a complete suite of tools including a word processor, spreadsheet program, and presentation maker. Why reset WPS Office? There can be multiple reasons to reset WPS Office to its default settings. Maybe you've changed some settings and can't remember how to get them back, or perhaps WPS Office is not functioning correctly, and you think resetting it might fix the problem. Resetting WPS Office will bring the program back to its original state, just like when you first installed it. How to reset WPS Office Now, let's get to the main process. Here's how you reset WPS Office to its default settings. 1. Open WPS Office. 2. Click on the File menu in the top left corner. 3. From the drop-down list, select Options. 4. In the Options window, go to the Advanced tab. 5. Scroll down to the bottom of the Advanced tab. 6. Here, you'll find a Reset button. Click on this Reset button. 7. A dialog box will appear asking you to confirm your decision. Click Yes to confirm. 8. WPS Office will now reset to its default settings. What happens after resetting? After resetting, WPS Office will return to its original default settings. Any custom changes you've made, such as to the toolbar layout, user dictionary, or personal templates, will be lost. Remember to back up any important settings or files before performing a reset. And that's how you reset WPS Office to its default settings. It's a quick and easy way to resolve any issues you're having with the program or revert any changes you've made that you're not happy with. I hope this guide was helpful to you. Thank you for watching and until next time, stay productive.